Well, many wine lovers may already know about this, but for others, this might be of interest to you. Making wine at home is a real thing, and a lot of people have been doing it, especially since the pandemic. Our Romney Smith is at Debonair Winery in Madison. Romney, it seems that this would be very hard to master, is it? Jay, I have to tell you, there are several steps you'd have to pay attention to. There are a lot of options. I'll get into that in just a moment. But just keep in mind, this is not like pandemic banana bread. There are a lot more ingredients. It takes a lot more time, patience. But all the customers I spoke with today say it is well worth the effort. What starts as a grape on a vine is quickly turned into fresh pressed juice at Debon Vineyard in Madison, Ohio. They had reasonable prices. They got the they had the, probably the best juice around. You can either you can either press the grapes yourself or you can buy the juice. The latest trend is people coming in to try juice. Well, let me try a, a darker red and then a uh, a pinker one. Then making wine nice. at home. If you follow the steps, it's it's attainable. You can really do this, but there is some attention to detail that people need to follow. Debon sells everything you need to get started from the juice to the chemicals to the containers. Chris Conrad has made his own wine for five years and has a clear favorite. Chardonnay so far. I enjoy making this, the Chardonnay. It's, uh, it's easier wine to make and it ferments faster. Some advice if you take on the make your own wine challenge. The first few times you want to do as little um, manipulation and you, so you might not have to adjust the acid. You might you don't want to adjust the, the bricks. If making your own wine seems scary, you could just enjoy the juice. Nothing like a fresh glass of grape juice on Sunday morning. Or start a new hobby that will take a few weeks to determine if you've been successful. I start small, <laughs> maybe just a couple gallons at a time. Now you have to keep in mind, if you're like me and it's a little too intimidating, you could just buy the wine, which is what I did today. But if you want to give it a go, even if you buy your wine today or tomorrow, you know, it's still going to take a while, right? You might have a first good batch by either the holidays or New Year. And there's a difference because of the difference in red and white, correct? The red and whites are, are different. The whites uh, might be ready a little bit sooner. The reds might want to age a little bit. And that's because of the flavor profile? Yes, exactly. And speaking of flavors, Jay, Betsy, I heard you had a question for us. First of all, have you tried the product? It, d do you like it? Yes, <laughs> of course I did. <laughs> it is good. I mean, you can't come to a vineyard and not. No, listen, it I, is good. I, it of is, course. There's a, lot, uh, there's a lot of one to try. And, I, you know, speaking of that, Jay, behind me, I alluded to it. Those are different flavors, right? How many different yeah. kinds can they make? Yes, we, we bring in about 25 to 30 different varietals every year. Wow. We grow them here uh, at Debonair, so we, they're a state grown. And when I'm speaking about a state, Jay and Betsy, 30 different, up to 30 different flavors, so that's 30 different kinds of wine you can make at home. And this is not a small operation. How many acres are here? We have 160 acres of vines that wow. we uh, harvest our grapes from. And the nice thing, too, about all these different varieties, you can blend them or have them on their own or blend them. So you can, again, just be creative with them. Absolutely. Thank you so You're much. Cool. And this is the wine master right here. So I have to let you guys know, 30 different kinds of wine. You can buy the grapes. You can buy the juice. You can make your own wine, which means a lot of time during the winter months to try to hey. do this. But you need to get your juice now. They don't go on to the end of the year. So certainly come on out to Madison, Ohio. It's a beautiful farm. I vineyard. bet. Thank you. Yeah, guys. and I, I'm sure they are good. But Betsy would like to just make sure. So if you can, she'd like mm -hmm. to maybe sample a little bit later on. Very important. Yeah, very important. We'll have <laughs> multiple. We have to maintain the integrity of the journalism by making sure it's good. <laughs> right. That's right. She needs to taste it. She needs to be able to prove it. <laughs> Romney, thank you.